It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the New Orleans Saints. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. the team we're set for football and we are underway from the Superdome and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return the LA offense going to go to work for the first time and it is the veteran Matthew Stafford at the helm in his 16th NFL season and fourth with the Rams. Stafford is one of those quarterbacks who didn't get the credit he deserved for the majority of his career due to the fact he's playing on teams that often didn't make the playoffs. But that narrative emphatically changed when he changed his surroundings and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. He's had a few injuries in the intervening years, but now that he's fully healthy, he plans on getting his team back into the championship conversation. Uh, first run now for Kyron Williams. And boy, showing how tough he can be to bring down, just fighting his way forward to pick up seven yards. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. And that's off the mark, incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. This is taken at about the 14. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints heading out for the first time, and there's Derek Carr at quarterback in his 11th NFL season now and second in black and gold. And Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. Shotgun now for Carr. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea 
slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. To throw its car. Man open, that's Mark Rose Valdez Scantlin. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back to back, nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Bobby Brown on the tackle. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. From midfield, here's Carr. Oh, that is incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. They fake the handoff. Now Carr. Throw out wide is incomplete. Well, I'm quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week, but they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds, back near their own 20. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now a second and 10. Stafford. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it, not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He missed on his first three passes, was 0 for 3. Now gets a connection, maybe that'll get him going. Yeah, it wasn't a time for panic, but there was some concern because once you start in a certain pattern, you wonder, can you get out of it? And that flips the other way, too, when you're throwing it really well. In this case, now he's got his first completion. They think he might be off to the races. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's a second and five. To throw is Stafford. This is caught by Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. Got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. 
Off of play action. Here's Stafford. That's to the second year man, Puka Nakua. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a gain of 34. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Stafford. And it's caught. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Puka Nakua, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Point after, right down the middle, and it's now a 7-0 game. So that drives seven plays in length, and it winds up with a touchdown for Los Angeles. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now Carr to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. On play action, now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. I call it no gain there on the first down play. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Here's second and ten. To throw his car. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 42. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. From the gun, it's Carr. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, and it's second down. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. Now Carr. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 26. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. There it is, a staple of most teams' playbooks, the angle route. A lot of times you want to take away that inside route by a back, but when they sell it like he's going to the flat, that is tough on inside linebackers. One false step, and that ball's completed. Alvin Kamara reeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. 
And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. And a point after, good by Groupie, and we are tied at seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Stafford. It's complete to Robinson. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Throwing is Stanford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Play action, Stafford. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. And that's where you're counting on a receiver size being an advantage. They were hoping he could go to the top of a smaller DB and haul that one in. A good thought, but that time it didn't work out. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Stafford looks to throw again. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup, And he is going to have a Rams first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. Touchdown! 
42 yards. And the Rams have taken the lead. Man, he just ran a terrific route. Extremely hard to defend when it's run that precisely and the ball's delivered that accurately. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keep, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's <laughs> the guys huh? up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Carr going to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 26. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. Now Carr. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Bobby Brown busting through to get him for a loss of six. He had some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Card out of throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what would you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that That's answer. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they finally get to him out near midfield, but he's all the way across the 45 to the 46. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in his zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate him. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. Taken down by Pete Warner. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Second and five. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's to the tight end, Colby Parkinson. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that will bring up third and one. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Up the middle, it's Williams. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 11 more on that one and another first down. Another nice play there. They've gotten down into the red zone in no time at all. That's what this offense can do when they get on a roll. And now they're set up for the first and 10. Now Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. Make that now three first-half touchdown passes for Matthew Stafford as his guys are able to extend their lead in the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game, and I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point forthcoming. It's good, and it's 21-10. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass.
The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's Byron Young who ranged in that time and stopped him for a loss. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Throwing now is Carr. Wilson's got it complete. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just look in the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now Carr. Oh, he'll look downfield for Camara. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Alvin Kamara, he scored on the ground and through the air. And the Saints are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, he's used to running it that distance. Here he had to catch it, too, before making the run. Heck of a play for the score. There's not many things better for an offense than a back who's a complete guy who can run it and catch it. And we just saw him complete a big-time play for a touchdown. Groupie able to add the PAT. And it's now 21-17. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Rams offense and Cooper Cup making their way back out. And it may be time for this defense to start throwing a second defender his way because whatever they've done, it has not worked in this first half. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Second down and four. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, you know they had a third down play on standby just in case, but he says no need with that carry. Runs like that will continually earn him more work in this and future contests. Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. 
So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. Now we're first and 10 at the 11. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Facing a second and six from the eight. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Caught on the slam. And the Rams are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Talk about a big first half. Already has the two touchdowns, adding to his receiving total there and picking up the first down. He's coming off the line so fast. I think he's intimidating the defensive backs with his explosiveness, and he's chipping away at their confidence. Williams is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Point after try, forthcoming. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. The Rams kickoff team on the field, and here we go with the ball in the air. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Saints offense and the veteran Alvin Kamara getting set for this next possession. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating him up right now. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. To throw his car. That's to the sideline and incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. 
Here comes the Saints punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And they'll let this one go right on the outskirts of the 10. They'll down it at the 11 yard line. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford set to take over once again. And he's done everything you could have asked for coming in. He's spread it around. He hasn't taken many chances. And he's potentially on his way to a big game throwing the football. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Back to throw, Stafford. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. That could have been a huge play, but give the defender credit. Stayed calm, stayed collected, and kept himself in a position to make a play on the ball without a penalty. Second and 14. Now a play fake, and it's Stafford. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. And this will be gathered up in the end zone, and that's a defensive touchdown. That's something you have to be wary of on your side of the field, that close to the goal line. The defense, they are looking for that football. They got it, they scored it. You are so right, and the quarterback has to speed things up himself. So close to the goal line, they're going to get after you. Make sure you get rid of the football and in a safe place. Here's Groupie for the PAT. And the lead is down to four. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Rams offense and their quarterback headed out for this next possession. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. The catch and run pays off to the tune of 35 yards. Well, he worked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 31. 
Now a 10th carry. Here's Williams. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 70 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now it's Stafford. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. Now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. They try the left side here with Williams. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. Here's Stafford. To the sideline and incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So on fourth down, Sean McVay going to send out the field goal unit. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And this one is right through. And that'll make this a seven-point game. So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Now we are hitting the home stretch here toward halftime. And to this point, this has been an exciting offensive explosion for both sides. I think everyone in the stadium is going to have to regroup a little bit, including the Take two of breath, us. Yeah. yeah, I think we have to get a little oxygen, relax a little bit, and see what we can get going for the second half. The same as these teams, because right now everything's working really well. Can someone come up with something to slow them down? Yeah, both defenses back on their heels. Here's Carr to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantlin. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. To throw its car. He's going to float this one deep right side. It's caught at the 10. And he's taken down all the way inside the L.A. 10. A big-time play there for New Orleans. 57 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Carr. To the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. Uh, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Car to throw again. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. 
The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Interested to see what they dial up here. Third and goal with a lot of green between them and the end zone. Now Carr. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So Carr departs and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. The visitor's offense and running back Kyron Williams getting ready for their next possession. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much. And that's caught inside the 30. And he will work his way out of bounds here at the 25-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 42 yards. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. To throw is Stafford. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. Here's Stafford. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. He connected on his first, this from 41. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll make this a seven-point game. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. 
And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. One second, all that remains. He's going to loft it, deep right sideline. And it is incomplete. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you over to Orlando where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. The Rams got a nice throwback performance from their veteran quarterback, Matthew Stafford. He's over 300 yards passing already as he's looking to possibly put his name in the record book. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. In motion left goes a tight end. Now a play fake. Carr. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force an incompletion and, more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. The visitors offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would, and in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. 
They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit. He tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football to places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Stafford. And that went to the right side and incomplete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down, and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Carr going to throw. And he'll get this one underneath to Kamara. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. From the gun, it's Carr to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down at a yard. Kamara up the middle, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run it again with Kamara. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four and second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You can go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 37, they work on second and six. A 10th carry for Kamara. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Throwing now is Carr. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. The Saints passing game in sync and moving the football. It's a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Here's Carr. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. 
And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Marquez Valdez Scantling, 43 yards. And the Saints are an extra point away from evening this one up. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. At a point after, goodbye groupie. And that will tie our game here in the third. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown, so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Looking deep downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not win it in. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself. You don't look it in. And all of a sudden, it's on the ground. A surprise to all. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards is the pickup there at a first down for L.A. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Now Stafford. Over the middle complete. It's Robinson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 down at the 31. Off the draw, here's Williams. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. They'll come up now third and three. Throwing is Stanford. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And out of bounds right around the 20. Three yards on first, four on second, and now five on third down. Move the sticks. Third and four, he did just enough. And I mean just enough to move the chains. And that's all you're looking for, right? Just want to keep the drive moving. You don't need the big play there. Just get to that marker that you described, and he was able to do just that. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. 
They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Stafford now to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Fourth touchdown pass of the game for Matthew Stafford. And the Rams have taken the lead. Well, he is such a matchup nightmare down near the goal line, CD. And another example right there on that play for the touchdown. It's borderline impossible to defend this guy because that kind of size, he can still get out and run a crisp route, and he has excellent hands. Even if you stick with him, all the quarterback has to do is lob it up, and he can win almost any jump ball. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and they will regular them down a couple yards shy of the 30 Derek Carr and the Saints set to go back on offense and he had the touchdown on the last drive also four for four very very effective what does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive not think that what he saw in coverages last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? They were really good on the last drive. Now he'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. And his play caller does a nice job of giving him an easy throw to start this drive, and he takes advantage of it. The completion sets up a manageable second down. Second down and three. To throw his car. Going right back to Wilson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Well, if you like the matchup and that connection works to start the drive, no reason to go away from it. Let that defense prove that they can stop you. And here, it's two throws and two first downs. So from Rams territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Now second and five. Second, second, 
Again, it's Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Card out of throw. And this is caught at the end. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Another catch for Valdez Scanlon. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Carr. And he's got it. Touchdown. Cedric Wilson, a five-yard touchdown. And the Saints are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Groupie for the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that drives seven plays in length, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And able to get this out to the 25. This offense and their running back headed back onto the field. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, it's all been on display throughout. The L.A. offense ready to go for their next drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Williams going to get it again on second down. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. The Rams on third down. They've hit four of seven. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he goes out right around the 39. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. 
short yardage situation. You have to wonder if they thought that they were just going to run it inside. But you have to be cognizant of the back slipping out of the backfield trying to find some open space. And that's exactly what he does to the tune of a first down. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Paul Start's going to push him back, but these days, how hard must it be to be an offensive lineman? It's very hard, Brandon. You've got defensive linemen flinching, trying to draw you offside. You've got the loud crowds, and there are just so many super athletic players on defense now that you have to deal with each week. But through it all, these guys just sit in there for four quarters and slug it out. Now after the false start, here's second and seven. Now it's Stafford. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. To throw is Stanford. And that will be incomplete. Ugo Ramadi there to knock that one away. Probably smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. Here comes the Rams punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense and Derek Carr ready for this next possession. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been that successful. He just processes things so quickly and makes a right read seemingly every time. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the... Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. And the Rams now coming out on the field. Well, the fumble recovery certainly has put them in the driver's seat. First and ten, all tied here in the fourth. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Now Carr. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's going to be touched down, but he's got the first down. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front 
and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Now Carr. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. With that last completion, CD is now over 400 yards passing in the game. And quite a few of those have come via some pretty big strikes downfield. Certainly not afraid to challenge this secondary, and it's been successful. I like your observation there, partner, because I agree. This is a group more than capable of torching a secondary any week as evidenced by their combined stat line here. And in the time we have remaining, wouldn't shock me at all to see them take another deep shot. Blitz coming, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback, and you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. To throw its car. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Here's Carr to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Oh, it's a wobbler here. Fair catch, single four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. The visitors' offense and their wide receiver getting set for this next possession. And he's had some kind of game. They made it a point to get him involved early, and it has paid giant rewards to this stage of the game. The Los Angeles offense set to begin their next drive. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. carry number 20 of the game here's Williams and they get to him after a gain of six to the 46 from the lineman to the guy running with it that was a well executed first down by the offense with two shots left to get the first you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want and try for some bigger yardage this second and four
They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. The offense on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and four. Back to throw, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. And now a tip of the cap to the man under center, Charles. He just went over 400 yards passing in this ball game. He's got the touchdown passes to boot, taking pretty good care of the ball. Just all around a really solid performance. Yeah, just check, 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 and check, right? Because he certainly showed he was worthy of the trust that his team put in him. A handful of touchdowns to his credit thus far. Now he's just crossing off yardage milestones and win or lose. His name has to be in serious discussion for player of the game. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. He got 29 yards that time. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Kyron Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have broken our tie and have taken a fourth quarter lead. Sometimes you get a first to go and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, Maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Extra point splits the uprights and they will take a seven point lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. kickoff team on the field and here we go with the ball in the air and they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 the Saints again ready to go on offense they now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter what a big spot for this offense see if they can cobble something together on this drive Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start with a give to Kamara, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four on the first down play. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. So the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Working from the gun, it's Carr. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Carr going to throw. 
There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Charles, he's now over 400 yards passing in this one. It feels like he has a zillion completions. Just a very memorable effort from a guy that we thought could be in line for a big game, and he has exceeded our expectations. That he has, and I'm not really surprised at all because when you look at this offensive unit, they are loaded across the board. And, of course, the guy throwing them, he's a big-time player himself. They brought it from start to finish and really helped get the better of the opposing secondary. And the Rams getting set to go now. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Stafford. Screen play set up for Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Williams. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. And they'll fake the jet sweep, but instead of give up the middle to Williams. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. On third down, here's Williams. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. So time for Carr and the Saints. Down by seven, a minute six to play. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and ten. Here's Carr. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Throwing his car. 
It's complete, Camara. Usually the offense has an answer to anything a defense throws at them, including a safety valve. And that's what they did on that play. They went there, but the defense still made an excellent play and held them to no gain. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Carr. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Bobby Brown in there to take him down, and the clock will roll. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback, he's not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. That's caught by Wilson. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. So that one hurt. No timeouts left. Look at where the ball is on the field, Charles. I, I don't know if the fat lady's singing yet, but she's starting to hum a little bit, isn't she? You think she's doing scales at this point? <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt about it, but they had to go for it. In this situation, with their timeout situation as well, they had to take the chance, try and get it done. They didn't. Now they're powerless to stop them, essentially. They need a big play somehow from their defense. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. <laughs> Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.